out working on the trailer today, so I thought I'd uh, do a quick video on the galley. And it might be a little shadowed, but that is where we're going to be cooking out the back there. Right now, I'm trying to get this canvas to fit. I'm going to have to add a couple more grommets where I've got those clamps. Anyway, let's get a little closer here so you can actually see. Hopefully you can see. This little piece here on the side is just a uh, wind guard that I made. Just a thin piece of aluminum. Got our 15 amp circuit right there. And there's some other stuff, 12 volt outlet back there for something. This is a switch to the water pump. This sink, I know it looks like crap put in, but I got when I got this thing cheap because it was slightly bent and I couldn't get it to go down flat. It's just a bar sink. The pump that goes to this is 1.1 gallons per minute at 35 PSI, and its draw on our power is 3.5 amps when it's running, and has a pre-pump strainer. The galley itself, the whole thing, just in case you like numbers, is 38 inches wide, 19 and a half inches deep, and 10 inches high. One of the tricky things I had to do here to make it this short. I really don't know if you'd be able to see in here. Let's give this a shot. Maybe you can, but you can see there is no clearance. Maybe you can see, maybe you can't, but what I did is on the back side, that's what you can't see. I drilled a hole straight through. And then epoxied around it and the hose runs out the back and then it drains underneath the trailer and a short stub out where I can put a like a four-gallon bucket under there. We're using a just a single burner on one pound canisters. This is the little side table I made. And it just has hinges where I pulled the original pins and I made my own removable pins for it so I can take it on and off. And let's see, I've got it written down here. Its size, if you're curious, is 18 and a half wide by 30 long. Let's see, it's got to go on the inside here. Yeah. Oh, I can kind of see in here. This is where the water tank is, and it is just a food grade 16 gallon. That's the extra battery stashed back there. These are just extra plexiglass pieces for my little windows up there because I, I might break one. I'm clumsy. And I think I showed on the other video the other side. It all gets filled in just with the, uh, I guess I can't open it, it's just a, uh, it's all right, a little, can't see my screen, so I'm just kind of guessing, it's just a regular water fill. The pump is, I'd show you, but it's behind this door and then down at the bottom. So that's pretty hard to get to. I'm also working on the tip out today. Let's see what there is to show you while I'm working on today. I guess there really isn't much. Those are the, uh, sorry about that. Those are the top windows. They're just screen. There's no windows in there at all. Anyway, this is, uh, I really can't get back far enough to see this whole thing. This is just what I'm working at today. I didn't get that thing figured out. It's just a PVC that runs across the back here to hold it. And then I just got eyelets up there. Are just temporarily tied on right now. I'll get that figured out. Anyway, that's where we'll be cooking on this thing. Unless well, the weather's good. <laughs> Alright, thanks guys.